Hey guys, it's Chris, being a craftsman, and welcome from Workshop. So today's video, I wanted to take you on the process of me um, restoring this nice little hatchet. So this hatchet's been through a little bit. This actually was something I bought at a flea market a long time ago. It had a completely different handle. Actually, it was just a hammer handle. Very straight, but it was wrapped up with gaffer's tape like crazy. And then this was pretty rusty. So I took that handle off and actually cleaned this and did a pretty de decent job to it and um it's worked out good but it's the problem is uh this thing's loose and as you can tell it's actually so loose that i can pull it out so i'm gonna make a new handle and then i'm gonna look at this and and try to fix it up but i'm also thinking at the top once they put the wedge in there might fill it up with some epoxy or something to actually seal it off really really well in hopes that this will last a lot longer so let's get started Okay, so I'm not going to stick with the same shape of this. Um, in fact, this was from an older hatchet I had, and it was originally the other way around. It would hold it this way. Um, but I didn't like that feeling at all. It felt better this way. And I still like that feeling, so I might mimic it a little bit. I'm the one who put the hole in it so I can hang it up. But we're going to do this out of oak. So I've got this three-quarter inch piece of oak. All we're going to do is just trace it out. Uh, let's see I'm trying to make it so that what I'm going to do is cut this board in half glue them up together so it's a little thicker because this is a little it's it's close I could probably get away with it but I want it to be a little bit thicker I want this to be a little bit thicker too I want it to grab I want to grab it really well so we're gonna split this in half on this oak board and then glue it together
So I got this thing completely sanded to, to, to the limit that I really want to go. Um, this is going to be roughed up, so I'm not totally concerned about it being perfect. But uh, it's going to face this way. The axe hand head is going to go right there. So what I've got to do is try to mimic where I want this thing to be. So it's going to... i got to kind of fit this contour a little bit. And then... Uh, What I'm going to do is put this in the vise and then trace the best I can on the end, the end of the axe. So I decided to use boiled linseed oil on this project because it's going to be outside. I don't want to put anything majorly um, like uh, polyurethane on this. I just want to use this uh, to protect it a little bit but to also give it a, a nice look to it. Um, but if I use polyurethane or anything of that nature it would definitely be something that wouldn't uh, be good to handle or good to touch throughout the years of using this thing and plus it, that will wear off because that doesn't go into the wood all it does it sets on top of the wood so this is going to soak into the wood provide some protection and also it looks spectacular so super thrilled about the way this is turning out the next thing that I needed to do was to put the wedge in it and so I decided to go ahead and use a piece of walnut to put the wedge in and I wanted to do that wood because it actually gives a very good contrast to the oak that I used and then I just wanted to seal it off with some really good epoxy Well, that's going to be it for this video and that's it for this little hatchet um, I am really really excited to start using this because for years I've used that old handle and just it got kind of annoying because the hatchet would come off but this is nice and stable this is such a it's perfect it's a perfect size too this is actually about six I mean about 14 inches long um, and I went that length it's a little longer than your typical hatchet uh, mainly because I like to have something I can maybe get a little bit more of um, a pressure, a uh, an oomph behind it. So instead of having a hatchet where I would just hold it 
here, which is normally where I'm going to hold it. If I really needed some extra strength behind it, I could hold it all the way at the end and get a little bit more leverage down on the hatchet. So it gives me that option, but having also the end really large kind of keeps my hand from sliding off of it so easily. But uh, I love this. I've also really liked this uh, design. It's definitely more of an older style. In fact, it's more of a carpenter's type because you could pull nails out and you do have a little hammer at the back. But I love the tip. I love the shape of this and everything turns out great. It is working great. I've already used it a couple times already to split some kindlings. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you next time, but thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time here in the workshop.